Hello everyone, I'm Patricia from TarantulaHeaven.com and today we're going to talk about how to prevent a huge mistake that beginners make and I have made too um, and how to do some tarantula safety. Uh, so here we have, well first the star of the show, Spidey, my uh, Chilean rose hair. Um, I also have an Arizona blonde Blinky who has been underground um, for probably over a week now. They're making like a crazy tunnel system. I haven't seen them, but I have noticed that every day there's more dirt in the water dish, so they're still alive, I guess. And here we also have the jealous cat named Ava. Um, she also is really jealous of the spiders and likes to be a part of things when I do them. So that's what that's about. And hopefully one of these two will do something cool for you guys while I'm talking. Um, I don't know they don't they are pretty lazy both of them so we'll see but anyway today I want to talk about um, what to do if you have a mesh lid um, now this is a mesh lid actually I'm looking into getting a um, plexiglass lid with holes in it um, doing some research about how to do that because I don't have any like tools so I'm hoping that I could go somewhere and just buy it <laughs> um, but yeah so right now it's a mesh lid but I have tarantula proofed it in my own way which I'm gonna do a tutorial uh, about later in the video of how to do that. But basically, um, so this is a regular 10 gallon tank that you can get at any local pet store or online. And this is a tank that a lot of newer tarantula owners commonly get because um, it's not only really affordable, but a lot of us go make the mistake of going to a local pet store for our first time, which I did. And this is the kind of tank that they're probably gonna sell you if you wanna get something big. Um, you can also get like small cradle, crater keepers and stuff like that. And those are generally like much safer, but you know, like, you know, a newbie like myself at one point, um, will not really know that this is dangerous until, well, hopefully not, but until it might be too late. So the reason that these tanks are dangerous, is not only because of the height, so you definitely have to have enough substrate in there. Um, if you have a terrestrial tarantula, but the mesh lid is deeply concerning because um, especially when tarantulas get into a new home, they might be very uncomfortable or stressed out. So they're going to try to climb the walls and some tarantulas do this regardless whether they're, they've moved in or settled in or not. Um, Spidey still occasionally tries to climb her walls. Um, for some reason, ground dwelling tarantulas really like pretending that they are arboreal tarantulas and that they can climb. Um, and some of them just don't know the difference or they're very adventurous and want to like show off. But yeah, so Spidey has climbed up her walls and gotten on her lid and gone upside down. And that happens to tarantulas who have mesh lids on their tanks. And it's very common. And uh, hopefully you're watching this video before you get a mesh lid because I don't want you to find out that this could happen the way I found out when I saw Spidey actually doing it. <laughs> and uh, like, trust me, rescuing a spider who's upside down on their mesh lid is not fun. It's incredibly stressful. Um, I've had to do this for Spidey twice in my several years of having her. Um, once was before I knew how to spider proof things. And that, you know, fortunately each time she's not been injured, she's been fine. But like tarantulas can really, you know, if they fall, they're pretty fragile, so they could die. You know, their bodies are incredibly fragile and their abdomens can burst. Or they can lose a leg or something like that and then like bleed out because they don't have the blood clotting abilities that we do. Um, so the first time was when I didn't spider proof things. Then I took precautions and I did, but I didn't do a good enough job. So I learned something there too. Um, so, but yes, the second time I did it was when she bypassed what I had tried to do the first time to keep her safe. And, uh, you know, I came home to see her hanging by one leg on her mesh lid and it was extremely heartbreaking to see a big spider flailing with the rest of their legs and try to keep calm try to somehow open the lid without hurting them and then get the spider down without hurting them or getting hurt it's it's so stressful so <laughs> so let me um basically explain what I what I did by spider proofing the lid. And you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest, Spidey still tries to get on her lid. Um, she obviously, you know, she doesn't have a memory, so she doesn't learn. <laughs> but um, 
yeah, they're still going to try, which is why you really want to upgrade to a different lid to make sure that it can't happen. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so my method, in, and a lot of people do this, is to take packing tape, just regular packing tape, and tape the perimeter of the lid so that they cannot get from the glass and hook their little claws onto the mesh lid. Um, and my first mistake was that I had not made the tape um, go far enough into the lid enough because, um, you know, I guess I, I didn't take into account that Spidey's legs were long enough to actually reach over the first layer of tape I'd made. So when I did this a second time, um, I made sure that I did a better job and I haven't had any incidents since and I don't want to and that's why I am replacing her lid for sure. Um, if you guys have any suggestions on where I can buy a already made plexiglass lid with some holes in it um, that might fit a 10 gallon tank, please let me know because I'm, I'm looking. <laughs> um, or I'm, you know, I might just bite the bullet and like buy some tools and do it myself. Um, we'll see. But yeah, so if you guys, you know, if you don't have the money to get a new lid or you want to keep the mesh lid, please make sure that you're taking the precautions. Um, you know, definitely make sure that your tarantula has a lot of substrate in there so that in case they do get hooked on and fall, they can't die. <laughs> um, so you want to make sure that that fall isn't too big. And please tape the tape the, the mesh lid as much as you can while still giving them proper ventilation because you do not want to be in this position. You don't want your spider to be in this position. Um, it's just, it's really unfortunate and like a lot of tarantulas do get very hurt from this. So anyway, now I'm going to get to the tutorial and you can follow along. It's really, really simple, but um, I think watching it will definitely explain a little bit better what I'm talking about. Hey guys, it's Patricia from tarantulaheaven.com and this is a tutorial about how to make a mesh lid a little bit safer for your tarantula. Now like I mentioned before, a mesh lid isn't the safest thing that you can put on your tarantula's tank. Their little feet can get stuck in these, but there are things that you can do to make it a little bit safer while you're trying to get a different lid for your tarantula. So this is the general um, basic mesh lid that usually comes on a glass enclosure, like the one I have and I'm trying to replace for Spidey. And what you're basically gonna do is take some packing tape, this is clear, um, just general packing tape, and you are going to line the perimeter um, just so that if they happen to climb um, up the glass tank, they can't get their little feet stuck in here. So basically, you are just going to, so this is like the top side, you're gonna turn it over onto its underside, and then you're gonna take the packing tape, and I'm pretty, I don't know, I don't, I don't measure it out or anything. I just kind of guess, but I just follow the perimeter and make sure that I tap it down as best as I can. And it's okay if it's not perfect. You just wanna make sure that it sticks down and like that. And you're gonna do that all around the perimeter. And if there's any like little pieces that are sticking out, you can cut them down, which I will do later. Um, just to trim them and make sure that it looks nice and that there's no parts that they can get stuck on. And you're gonna do that again, like that. And I learned this the hard way because Spidey did actually get stuck on her mesh lid once and I had to get her down. Luckily she wasn't injured, but you're not always so lucky. So, you know, I'd rather you guys know this little trick um, than have to learn it the hard way. Now, you can stop here if you have a smaller tarantula and you have um, the whole perimeter covered. You wanna make sure that you always leave room for ventilation and you're not covering the entire um, surface. Um, but if you have a larger tarantula like me or you just wanna be super safe, what I actually do is I do another layer to go a little bit more in. And that is because um, the first time I did this, she actually was able to reach her legs over the tape because she's got long legs. So to avoid that, um, the method that I have been using is to just do it again. Just go a little bit more in. So I'm going a little bit further in right there and putting another layer. And I'm making sure that, you know, she's gonna have some ventilation and that the, the holes will still, um, she'll have some surface holes but I'm making sure that the length of her legs is not going to be um, larger than the tank so she can't reach over. 
Um, and this method has worked really well. Since I did this, I haven't had any incidents. But, you know, like I said, it's not foolproof. Tarantulas are sneaky. They tend to find a way to do whatever they want. So, um, I would say that the best thing you can do is actually just to replace the mesh lid altogether, which is something that I'm working on. Um, but in the meantime, you can definitely decrease the amount of accidents just by doing this. And um, every few months, I do this again. I take the old tape off and I put new tape on um, just because, you know, you want to make sure that it doesn't lose its stickiness or that there's no parts um, hanging down so that their feet could get stuck. Um, so that's something that you can do. So then in the end, it's going to look like this. There's no sticky parts that they can get caught on and there's still some holes that they can still get some ventilation and air in there. And then you just put it back and should have no trouble. So that is one way that you can kind of temporarily foolproof your tarantula's mesh lid. All right guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope this was helpful to you. Um, and let me know if you have any other hacks or tips or things that you've learned um, along the way. So thanks, bye.